Good morning. It is Vlogtober week three, Vlogtober day 15. I am going to get up, get some breakfast, and then we are going Halloween decor hunting. Just a quick look, and it'll be in my Halloween decor hunting video. Good morning, Elsie. <laughs> that bird sounds like it's laughing. Okay, so we're out. We're driving. We are going Halloween decor hunting. So, we're going to Home Bargains. Asda. I might just go in Primark to get another one of those black blankets because I've just accepted I'm not going to get a spooky blanket because I just can't find them anywhere. Okay, I'm actually parking at TK Maxx because it's a free two hours and I hate paying for parking and I'm going to walk to Primark. It is just a bit more of a walk, but it's fine. It's a nice day. I might see some charity shops on the way that might have Halloween stuff. We'll see. And honestly, I haven't been down this end of Norwich in so long. <laughs> It's so sweet. I love the, I guess they're not, are these cobbled streets? But Norwich is just so pretty. Oh, house cafe. That's where I used to go to acoustic night with my friend Olivia. I don't know. I thought they'd closed down. Maybe they haven't. Oh, it's very different inside. House cafe was like this hipster cafe and they'd be open late at night. And my friend Olivia and I would go and there'd be live music and then we would walk around Norwich and see all the drunk people and it was great. It doesn't open till 11am but it looks like there could be treasures in there. The bicycle shop was also somewhere where I used to go. It's so cute inside. Look at the autumn decorations I would love to have my own coffee shop and decorate for each season oh that is the dream <laughs> They've just completely skipped Halloween at Primark. Which I get, if you're not going to get the deliveries in time, you might as well start on Christmas, but... <laughs> These snowmen are massive. Okay, I am back in the car. We went, we did some hunting. I'm not gonna go to TK Maxx anymore. I might have already said that, but there was nothing left. I know that they don't get deliveries after September, so it's fine. It's all Christmas. I did love that um, throw pillow with the New York City skyline. It was Christmassy, but I loved it. So I got it. I'm so hot. So I went in the antiques fair in the church and it was cool. They had all of this different cool old stuff. There was just nothing that jumped out to me. I feel like if I'm treasure hunting, it's gotta be something that I see and I need. I don't know. 
<laughs> Does that make sense? Like I just, I have to like want it. There was nothing really that stood out to me. It was cool because they had these old postcards with actual people's writing on it from like, they weren't that old, they were from the 60s. But still, it was pretty cool. Okay, Holly and I are actually going on our walk now. I just love the the front, it's not a porch, the front door area with the pumpkins. I kind of want more pumpkins. I love this dog from the range. I kind of want another one. Right, let's go walkies. It is so nice after being in the city to come back here and just be in the countryside, not see anyone, be with nature. I just don't think I ever want to live in a city again. I like visiting cities. Like I can't wait to go back and visit New York City, but I don't want to live there again. I like being outdoors too much and having space. Like this is wonderful. I can see the cows over there, right over there. So I could probably let Harley off. I don't know where the ponies are. I have to work out where the cows and the ponies are and see further ahead from us. And then I can let her off. But her recall's great. She's fine. I just like being cautious. This is my favorite place. And my brother actually comes here at night sometimes in the dark and he sees deer all over the heath so I might get him to take me at night. I would not come here at night by myself but he usually does it when it's a full moon so at least it's a little bit lit. Come here! Good girl! Holly, come here. Good girl. It's a bit different to Prospect Park off leash hours, isn't it? There's no friends for you to play with. Screw Asdar and their branchy trees. Look at mine. <laughs> I'm just taking this branch home. Okay, I am just working. I'm gonna be working for the rest of the evening. I have all my fairy lights on and my lamps on and it's just so nice and cozy in here. I have a lentil cottage pie for dinner uh, and I'm gonna watch the new season of You, which I'm excited about. So that will be my nice dinner break. But until then, I'm just working. It's so hard to wake up in the morning. It's so dark outside. It's half six. I need to get up for dog walks. Come here. Hello. Good morning. There's surfers down there. I could get so many things from my spooky house. They're not open yet. I wonder, oh look. 
miniature saxophone. We're doing a garden centre lunch. a lovely evening crafting and by crafting i just mean painting my spooky castle it's so therapeutic i'm also re-watching season three of american horror story coven um because that's the one with the witches um and it's in new orleans which is cool honestly had a lovely evening here is a spooky castle update i need newspaper to put it on so i can paint the very very bottom good morning Good morning kisses. That's cute, Petra. It's vlogtober day 17. Right, we are doing a different walk this morning, so we're going to see my grandma. So we're walking into Norwich City. We've actually parked at the prison, which is that building. It is such a beautiful building. And there's Norwich Cathedral over there. We're in Cafe Nero, but the police are here. Has someone broken into the bank? And they, they used to be deep sea divers. Did you see Grandma, Petra? Grandma? Okay, it is Vlogtober day 17 today. I have not done a great job of vlogging. I'm just, I'm tired. And I feel like I've had too much, I don't know, like mental stimulation or too much time being in public you know when you just want to go to the toilet to go and sit in a small enclosed room alone that's how i feel that's how i know i've had too much time out i just needed some time alone to recharge even though i did do crafting yesterday i just i don't know so today i got up and went out early with my dad to walk the dogs we actually walked around norwich today because we went to go see my grandma afterwards oh we got coffee at cafe nero and we thought there was going to be a bit of excitement but it did turn out to be nothing there were policemen trying to look into the bank across from cafe nero like one of them got onto the bench and was trying to peer in the window so we thought maybe someone had broken into the bank but it didn't look like it <laughs> eventually someone that worked in the bank came let them in and then they were in there for maybe 20 minutes and then came back out and left so nothing exciting but yeah we saw my grandma and then and then i went out with my parents to another garden center did some shopping and i had lunch out with them and then came back here did some more painting of my castle <laughs> doing the inside is difficult because i have to actually like get inside of the castle with the paintbrush but yeah i just did some more crafting i'm gonna have an early night tonight and then i've got another week of work ahead of me Okay, I'm sending emails while watching Angie's video. I'm watching her Halloween kitchen decorate with me. It is so good. I'm gonna do it next year. I am gonna make sure that I go and visit New York and visit my cousins in Pennsylvania around September-ish when all the Halloween decor comes out. I'm gonna take an empty suitcase. I'm gonna go to Michael's and Target and at home and I'm gonna buy a ton of stuff. <laughs> 
because they just have the best stuff and like good quality stuff not plasticky halloween party stuff i have accumulated so much outdoor things they're all here i don't know if jack is gonna go outside i don't know if he can survive outside but he might just come to the front entrance here harley how's your day going hmm gavin good day been to work Anyway, I think I'm going to go get a bowl of spooky cereal. Really? Would you like some spooky cereal, Hal? <laughs> when we went to Sainsbury's at the weekend, they had the spooky bat chocolate cereal. So I think I'm going to have a bowl of cereal just to help with my work day. <laughs> Okay, let's have some spooky cereal. It is so nice and cozy in here. It's raining outside. They don't really taste of anything. They don't even taste chocolatey, to be honest. Maybe they need more time in the milk. I was hoping for a cocoa pop taste, but no, it tastes healthy. Okay, I just had therapy, so I'm a mess, so excuse me. <laughs> um, but I have some doggy visitors in my room. I just want to show you Coco's bandana <laughs> that we got her in Zainsbury's. Coco. Harley is also ready for bed. Good morning. It is Vlogtober day 19. I slept in this morning. I didn't go for the walk with my dad. I think I just needed a lion. <laughs> I just needed to sleep in, have a chill morning. It's 9am. 9am is sleeping in for me. So we're gonna get some breakfast and then I think we'll go for a walk on the heath and then maybe we'll start work early. Should we see if Elsie's here? Good girl. Okay, Harley and I are walking on the heath. Before I start work, we found the ponies. We're only a little way in from the entrance and they're in the woods. Here comes that nosy gray. No, come on. And now the cows are right by the gate. Okay, I am sitting down to do work now. It was so nice to see the ponies on the heath. I'm just gonna be working until dinner and that's when I have my lunch break. We'll see where the day takes us. Hello, Harley. <laughs> okay, I'm just, um, I'm working. I had to put a jumper on because I was cold. I think I'm gonna make a pot of tea in my pumpkin teapot. You right over there? Hello, Elsie. Good girl.
we're still working and getting through. So I just got mail. So I thought we'd open it. I think I know what it is. It should be, yeah, my pumpkins for the haunted castle. Wow, these are made with a 3D printer. I find this so interesting. Like people that have a 3D printer can really just like make anything and then sell it on Etsy. Can you tell? Probably not. It's probably not focusing. But you can tell from the, the little lines. I thought they were made from clay because I did wonder how they made them so perfectly because I tried to make some from clay and mine were terrible. Okay, we're still painting. So this area is still a mess. Um, and I need, I'm not painting the floor. I've just started painting the insides. So they need more coats have i said this already for the floorboards i'm doing i'm gonna make these into floorboards and i'm gonna paint them with like a dark varnish so they'll go all over the floor this is a big project honestly so these pumpkins i think are gonna go here outside the courtyard area and then i'll add some moss here i've got the cat the broomstick. I'll probably make some more things to go on there. Honestly, but <laughs> Halloween is so soon. It's definitely going to be a, a longer term project than just for Halloween, which is quite fun. I like having a project to work on. I just made dinner and I didn't vlog it. I made spaghetti bolognese. I'm just so tired. It is 7 p.m. Um, I've been working while eating, so I'm gonna have a shower <laughs> and just wash my hair, put some cozy Halloweeny pajamas on, um, and then do some more work. Good morning. It's vlogged over day 20. Day 20. Look what just arrived in the mail. Harley, who is it? I've got sleepies. I ordered this from Asda online because Asda seemed to have nothing in store. And I really, really wanted a skeleton dog. It's technically a skeleton wolf, but doesn't it look like Harley? Harley, should we saw one of its legs off so it's a tripod? It is also animated, but it's kind of annoying when it's animated. <laughs> Okay, I am home. I just took my granny to the hospital, which really is like a whole four hour excursion. And now she's gone out to lunch with my mum. I am making my to-do list for the day. I've got a visitor. I'm pretty sure she's only here because I'm having some leftover bolognese. Yeah? <laughs> I just have so much to do. I just, I want this week to be over with. It's only Wednesday. I don't know why I'm struggling so much this week. I'm just so tired, so drained. I think this weekend I'm gonna have a chill crafting, dog walking, getting the house ready for Halloween weekend. I think I've finalized my birthday, which is actually like Halloween weekend, but I'd rather have a Halloween weekend than do anything on my birthday, which is the weekend after. Um, so my friend Kitty is coming to stay. She's going to come to Norwich on Friday. And then I think we're going to this cocktail bar in Norwich, which has bar dogs. <laughs> and it's kind of like a vintage apothecary themed. So we're going to do that Friday evening. And then the Saturday of the Halloween weekend, we'll probably dog walk, maybe go to Red Wings, see the pony. And then me, Kitty, and my brother Bean are going to, what is it even called? It's called Primeval. It's like a scare thing where they have different mazes with different themes and there's food trucks and cocktail trucks and loads of scare actors. Um, it's actually in the dinosaur park, which is cool. So we're doing that Saturday night and then Sunday night is actual Halloween night. So I think my friend Molly is going to come over as well. We'll carve pumpkins, have a ghoul's night in. I think we might have some trick-or-treaters, but we'll see. <laughs> How are you doing? You like your new friend? Petra, who's this? Oh, I can't work out how to turn it on. <laughs> Who is it, Rara? all my lovely co-workers 
Okay, I'm still working. I'm having dinner while I'm working. I'm just trying to get through work, honestly, and then Friday will be my fun day. I think Molly and I have decided we're going to the pumpkin patch on Friday now because it is supposed to rain tomorrow. The weather keeps changing. And also, <laughs> half of them don't open. I think we looked at two different ones. I realized one didn't open until this Friday and one didn't open until the next Monday, which is so weird. Why are they not capitalizing off pumpkin patches? Like, People want to go to a pumpkin patch the beginning of October. So why would they only open for a week for people to pick their pumpkins? I don't know. I would love to run my own pumpkin patch. I would do it right. I would have all of the spooky setups and it would be a real event at my pumpkin patch, but I don't have a pumpkin patch, so. Okay, it's 11.30. I just shut my work laptop. Um, I just had a lot to do and now I'm tired and I need to go to bed. I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and do um the chroma dog walk with my dad where we go to the beach, walk the dogs, get coffee, get breakfast. <laughs> Okay, it's tea time from my pumpkin teapot. So I went to Chroma this morning with my dad. It was so cold and so windy. The wind was like an icy wind. My ears were in pain from the wind. We got our usual coffee and then had breakfast at Rocket House Cafe, which was nice and warm, and then um, came home. And then when I got home, Harley and I snuggled up and we had a nap because uh, I really hadn't slept much because I worked so late. And then I think my brother's gonna go to a supermarket once he's done with work. He's also working from home like everybody else is. Oh, sorry, are you bored? Harley knows when it's work time because she sits in the chair next to me instead of in her bed. Oh, so I think my brother's gonna go to a supermarket once he's done with work, so I'll probably go with him just for fun. I'm trying to convince him to go to Astar so that we can see the new Halloween stuff they have. I've seen on the UK Halloween Facebook group that they have new Halloween stuff, like mini gravestones from Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm still on the search for the branchy trees. I think there was other stuff, but I honestly can't remember. Star have Halloween burgers. There's Monster Munch in there. Okay, I'm back from Astar now. They didn't have much new Halloween stuff there. I know, I know um, other Astars have the new Nightmare Before Christmas mini gravestones, which I actually did want. They did have the trick or treat buckets, the Mickey and Minnie pumpkin head ones, and they had little skeleton frogs or toads. I, I don't know how you would tell the difference, but I had to get one. Because I saw him and I thought he was so cute and he'd be perfect in the bathroom, by the sink, when you wash your hands. But I am back at work now. I have a million things to do. I'm gonna have to work late tonight, which is fine. And then tomorrow I'm doing the pumpkin patch with Molly, which I'm excited for. We're going on the heath at night to see if we can see the deer. You can't see on camera, but the moon is so bright that we can see where we're going, <laughs> kind of. Your eyes adjust. Like the moon is so bright.
party in my room, is it? Is it? Hmm? Okay, I've just showered and washed my hair. It's quite late, but I should really work late tonight because I have so much to do. And tomorrow's Friday. I think tomorrow is technically supposed to be the start of week three Vlogtober, but I'm going to include tomorrow in this vlog because I feel like I haven't had that many exciting things in this week of Vlogtober. So we'll just tack on the pumpkin patch. I guess the last week is also Halloween weekend would be part of the last week. So it's a few extra days and that's going to be pretty busy. So maybe I'll just include this weekend as an extra. I think I'm going to make a hot chocolate. I'm really in the mood for a hot chocolate while I let my hair dry a bit and send some more emails. What type of hot chocolate? I don't mind. Malteser? Yeah. Would you like a marshmallow? Great, I'm just gonna drink my hot chocolate. I'm gonna put some YouTube on in the background and follow up on some stuff and make my to-do list for tomorrow. Good morning. It is Vlogtober, day 22. Okay, we are in the car. We are on the way to go get Molly and then go to the pumpkin patch. It is very sunny. I'm sure that the fields will be muddy, but I'm glad Molly and I didn't go yesterday when it was rainy and windy. Okay, we're at the farm. Molly's putting her wellies on. <laughs> we're gonna go pick some pumpkins. That's not for us. <laughs> at least you've got a hat. Well, I was gonna wear one of those nice fedoras. <laughs> Well, that would have blown off into the mud. There's too many pumpkins to pick from. I really want a warty one because I feel like that's spooky. <laughs> Queen of puns. I think that's a nice size. To carve. Oh, I like that one. Tall one. It's a very good pumpkin patch and they have a spooky saloon where they sell coffee and cakes which we're gonna go to once we've picked our pumpkins. It's a very hard decision to make when you pick a pumpkin. I've got a nice warty and a bumpkin. I'm home from the pumpkin patch and I need to get to work. I just put a sweater on because it's so cold. It was really windy and cold. Oh, Harley's in the work chair ready. You ready for work day, are you? Yeah? 
I'm going to light a candle, get a hot cup of coffee, make it cozy in here, and then we'll have a work day. And it's a Friday, thank goodness, so. I'm so tired and cold. I'm wearing a blanket. I've got a blanket skirt on. I've got my sweater on. I might even put my fleece on. It's raining. I just want to snuggle up and watch a movie. <laughs> We've moved on to tea. I have a meeting in 20 minutes. Bean wants to watch the new Conjuring movie tonight. I don't know how I'm gonna stay awake. I might have to reschedule till tomorrow. It's dinner time, I'm so hungry. I am making pasta and vegan meatballs and then I'm gonna work some more. I am still so cold. I'm still working. I'm probably gonna go have a nice hot shower and put pajamas on and then just do my last hour of work, finally. Ugh, honestly, it's Friday, I could probably finish now, but I've still got stuff to do. I've just eaten a lot of chocolate. <laughs> I just thought I'd show this. This is the Dairy Milk Winter Gingerbread Bar. It is incredible. I would say gingerbread is autumnal and wintry. So I think this, this could be Halloween-y. I love it so much. It's so yummy. <laughs> very misty this morning. The surfers are out this morning. Molly said that her and her boyfriend were coming down this morning so we might run into Molly. Oh look it's Molly! You see all. Oh, that wasn't Sam. <laughs> he was going for Where's Sam? Right, what have we got? Almond croissant. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and what's this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is much later in the day now. What did I do today? I went to Croma, we bumped into Molly, saw her boyfriend surfing for a bit, had coffee. Glenn and I went to the Croma bakery and they had some Halloween shortbreads, which was fun. Then I came home and I went out with my mum to go do some just general shopping. We went in Morrison's. So we did see some of the Morrison's Halloween stuff. It was mostly cheap plastic stuff. They had glasses with skeleton hands on, but they weren't nice glass metal, like the ones I used to have in New York. They were plastic. And then they did have some interesting pumpkins. They had velour <laughs> purple pumpkins. They had a purple pumpkin with stars on it. They had the three stack of pumpkins that light up, which was cool for Morrison's. I really didn't expect much for Morrison's. There's some okay stuff, I guess. It was just mostly like cheap and plasticky, but that's expected. Anyway, I think Bean and I are gonna watch the new Conjuring movie now. I just need to get my brother downstairs. And I think I'm gonna cut out some bats while I watch because I want to do the thing that I did last year with black card bats where they start small and then spread out. I wanna do that above the dining room table for when I have my Halloween ghouls night in with my friends Molly and Kitty. So I'm gonna cut those out while we watch. Good. Okay, my room is a complete mess because I'm having a crafting day. Okay. 
so these i saw that this diy on pinterest where you must have been with kitchen roll because loo roll seems too short so you cut holes in these and then put a glow stick in the middle um i can't put the glow sticks in yet because i can't break them you have to break them to light them up but then you put these in like the bushes outside and it looks like eyes in the bushes so i've made a few of those these I got from Poundland and I need to hang up. These are Halloween night decorations. We just have a few more Halloween things to put up. I've also got some pumpkin lights that I haven't put up yet. I also got two of these in Asda and I thought they'd be quite fun to put in the bushes out the front as well. This is like actual Halloween night stuff though. So my parents went out to lunch and they brought me back a Halloween Rocky Road. Okay, crafting's going well. I've made lots of doors to go on my haunted castle. I've just had a shower and I'm going to cut some more bats out. Honestly, like I, today I've just been catching up on things that I can't really do in a work week and Halloween is coming so soon and I feel like I need to decorate more because Molly and Kitty are coming for a spooky weekend, which I'm excited for. I just feel like I need to do a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm just sitting on the floor with my dog pals. <laughs> I've put a fleece on because I'm so cold. I've just spent the last few hours editing vlogtober week two so that i could put that up but this is the end of vlogtober week three the last week will include halloween weekend which i'm so excited for hopefully there'll be, there'll be some exciting things i've still got to edit my last halloween decor hunting video i'm probably gonna go halloween decor hunting either tomorrow or tuesday anyway good night <laughs>